Hi, Mark Gordon with GoldenTicker.com on May the 8th. Uh, it's about 8.45 Pacific Time, and uh, gold is going through a, a bit of a uh, drop today. Uh, the GLD uh, down 2.11% right now, and I had drawn a, drawn a, a short-term trend line across these lows here yesterday and was hoping for some support here, but uh, clearly we gapped down under that this morning and uh, are uh, still uh, pushing lower here. Uh, the next area of support is this lower trend line here, which is currently uh, just above 152. Um, if we got down here in the next day or two, probably about 152.50, somewhere in that area. So gold uh, clearly having a bad day. A volume is already uh, well above yesterday's volume and uh, going to be a heavy volume day. Uh, it's only 8.45. We've got a lot of hours to go. So uh, may even eclipse uh, this uh, heavy volume uh, down day here when it took out the 21 day moving average way up here. So uh, the GLD down below all key moving averages. The 50 day just crossed the 100 day moving average. They call it a death cross or a black cross. Uh, not good for, uh, for gold. Uh, looking down here at the MACD, we got a cross on the MACD. The black line, the faster moving average, has crossed below the blue line the uh, slower uh, moving average here. Uh, stochastics uh, are uh, getting in the oversold territory, so that's a good thing. Uh, so we could get a bounce there, but uh, I would suggest uh, to uh, stay away from uh, gold uh, to the long side until uh, we get some better uh, positive signals. Looking at a weekly chart of the GLD, uh, we can clearly see this downward moving trend here uh, and uh, uh, this week's uh, volatile uh, downside movement as it came up here and tested the upper trend line. And uh, we have the blue line, this 10-week moving average, crossing through all these longer term uh, key moving averages. So uh, gold still in a correction. And moving on now to a monthly chart of gold, uh, this is a what I call a simple 20-month uh, timing model, and anytime gold gets down below this green dotted line, the 20-month moving average is said to be in a bear market. Now, the last time we did that was back here in late uh, 2008 uh, during that big collapse. Uh, we did come down and tag this black dotted line, which is the 40-month moving average, got support there and bounced right back up off of it. Uh, we are currently just underneath this uh, blue line which is the 10 month moving average but we are still above the 20 month moving average which is currently at 170 uh, I'm sorry 1573.59 1573.59 so should we have a big sell off in gold uh, that would probably be our first area of uh, support so gold still technically in a bull market now, if you look at the trend lines, we are still clearly in an uptrend. The 10-month pointing higher, 20-month pointing higher, 40-month pointing higher. Um, the uh, this uh, red line here, which is the shorter-term four-month moving average, has crossed uh, underneath the uh, blue line, the 10-month moving average. Last time that happened uh, was all the way back here uh, in uh, 2008 uh, when we had that nasty sell-off. So a bit of a weakness uh, 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 to be uh, seen there in the chart. Uh, also, if we scroll down to the MACD, the uh, uh, faster moving average has crossed below the slower moving average uh, back uh, towards uh, the end of last year. And uh, uh, so a little bit of momentum, of course, coming out of gold, uh, as we can see. Uh, a bit of a consolidation here since topping out uh, uh, last year. And uh, just, you know, a lot of this grinding sideways uh, type stuff here, building a base here, possibly. So gold still in a bull market.